Hello, this is my presentation on the current war. Uh, so without further ado, let's jump right in. Uh, first, I'm going to talk about the three main players in this, and I just want to outline who they are. Um, yeah. Thomas Edison was born on February 11th, 1847, to Samuel and Nancy Edison, in Millen, Ohio. He got his first job operating telegraph when he was 15. He then worked for this job until he was 19, and investigated and experimented with how telegraphs worked. At 19, he got a job at the Western Union Company. He made some minor inventions, his first being the Universal Stock Printer, at 22, and, and soon became a minor inventor, and a full, but a full-time inventor. Nikola Tesla was born on February 9, 1856, in the Austrian Empire in modern-day Croatia. When he was old enough, he attended the Technical University at Graz, Austria, and, and, and attended the University at Prague to learn engineering. He then went and worked in Paris for the Continental Edison Company. Then he traveled to the United States with no job and only four cents. Edison hired him, and his work in electrical current began. George Westinghouse was born on October 6, 1846, in Central Bridge, New York. He served for the Union in the Civil War, serving in both the Army and the Navy. His first invention was the rotary steam engine, which he patented in 1865. His largest invention up to that point, the air brake, allowed him to found the Westinghouse Air Brake Company. His air brakes were applied to trains, mainly, and he worked on other thing, train-related things until around 1881. Um, so now that we've outlined what the two were doing up to the point of the current war, now I'm going to talk about uh, the real-life current war. And yeah, um, while, while the light bulb had been invented, no one had built one that could be that could be a light for long enough to, for it to be effective and efficient. In 1879, Thomas Edison invented a light bulb that was affordable and could burn for hours. He could also now build direct current electrical power, so he started to supply cities. Meanwhile, West George Westinghouse was building an alternating current that was much cheaper to produce. However, it was far more complicated and worse in many other respects, largely largely due to the fact that it that it hadn't been that it hadn't had a lot of time to be developed, and that it was very new. Around this time, Nikola Tesla quit working for Edison because he believed that alternating current was the best type of current, better than uh, Edison's direct current. He began working on alternating current, mainly making experimenting with the generators for it. He quickly grew impoverished due to his excessive spending and lack of income. When Westinghouse developed his alternating current so that it was now effective, many cities started buying it due to its cheapness. Edison grew upset and started saying that any and started saying to anyone who would listen, mainly the press, that alternating current was incredibly dangerous and could kill someone, which was true. Uh, which, which was also true to an extent of direct current. In order to prove how dangerous alternating current was, Edison agreed to help design an electric chair, something that Edison had long and publicly disapproved of. So long as his involvement was kept secret, Edison would cooperate. Westinghouse hired someone to, to, to try to find dirt on Edison, and this person found Edison's correspondence with the electric chair maker and published them. Tesla then sold his plans to put an electric generator in Niagara Falls as a source of energy to Westinghouse. Due to this making electric current much more effective and Edison's new lack of credibility, Edison allowed his electric company to be absorbed into Westinghouse, and he moved on to other things. Okay, now I'm going to um, do my movie review of... Um, yeah. Um... Of, of the movie The Current War. So, um, overall, I would give this movie four stars. Um, it was well made, and the acting was good. 
but the writing and plot was a little sloppy. Um, I liked the idea, and the development into a movie was very well done. The acting was definitely good, and every character had a distinct voice and arc, even if they were very minor. I loved the setting, and, and, and the fact that it was set in the late 19th century, and that the Civil War was still a fresh memory, it was well executed. Everything from the speech to the clothes was very late Industrial Revolution. However, it is, it is a complicated story, and the plot was shoved to the side. There were switches between viewpoints at seemingly random times, and there were a few 30-second flashbacks to the Civil War that never really applied to the main story. It, it, was, kind, it was slightly chaotic and hard to follow, and there were multiple su subplots that didn't really seem relevant to the rest of the movie. It also did not have a great ending, because it did not have a clear resolution. And also, the, la um, the lack of a complete um, main character kind of al or also uh, lost some of its uh, goodness. Um, yeah, so that is my presentation. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, I will include my bibliography with... Not sure how I'm going to submit this yet, but where, whatever, probably be in text.